Just about to start on Sawback Trail. It's July 22nd, about 1.30 in the afternoon. So it's supposed to be some nice weather coming up over the next few days. A little bit of thunder showers, but that's pretty standard for Canadian Rockies. But check out these views. How's it going? Good. How's it going for you? Awesome. Nice to be uh, getting out of cell phone range. <laughs> <laughs> yep. About 6.1 km, about 430 meters. Kind of the back side of the ski hill. Hey. Hi. Following along this horsey track. Beautiful. A little bit of weather coming in. A little bit. Gorgeous. So this is the halfway hut and it's by Hidden Lake which is about 400 meters behind me but nice big beautiful meadow yeah this is it Let's see if it's cultural resource site protected by National Park Sounds. Hey, this is cool. It's a great place to wait on a storm. Look at all these names. Snacks dealer. Bye bye, Tarmigan Lake. So beautiful out here. Oh, my goodness. It is wet. You're wet? 
It is wet. I'm wet. And foggy. Wet feet. Trying to find the path. It's way down there. In the process, we are getting wet. This kind of reminds me of section D of the Great Divide Trail. Still beautiful. Still beautiful. slide happened in here at some point but obviously Parks was in here and cleaned it up. Good job Parks. Walking through willows. Walking through willows. It's all flooded in here at one time. Beautiful lush green forest. <clears throat> Some blowdown. Very minor. Nice easy trail so far. Day two. Pulsatilla Pass today down to Llewellyn Lake. Marmots. When? Marmots. Hey, hey, we are 15 kilometers in right now. And uh, we've kind of been walking in the, what I call the green tunnel for the last few hours. We uh, went through Pulsatilla Pass, which was absolutely beautiful. And we are getting super close to Llewellyn Lake, where we're staying tonight. And we've met a couple different groups of hikers that said the water's beautiful but the bugs are bad so we'll see everyone we talked to has been swimming in the lake so hopefully 
We can swim too. How are you feeling? I'm knackered. You're knackered? Yeah. Long day. It's a hot one though. Like it's got to be at least 20 degrees. Oh my gosh, more than that. Yeah, more than that. And uh, silly me, I wore a black sun hoodie. This way. Well, this looks all right. Hello, Hi guys. You missed the hour to take a dip. Oh, I'm still going. <laughs> yeah. It's great of you to bring those. Yeah. Sometimes it's really hard to uh, get them out, eh? They'll swallow them. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a pretty boy, isn't he? Yeah. It's a girl. How do you know? The nose isn't as pointed, and he doesn't have, or she doesn't have the big red stripe on the bottom. Cool, man. Well, had an amazing night at Llewellyn Lake last night. Went for a swim. Jessie tried to go for a swim. Too cold for her. But uh, it was beautiful. We met a nice couple. A uh, single guy and two girls that we've seen uh, at other campgrounds towards Lake Louise. But watched Andrew. He caught 34 fish. 
This is beautiful, all gorgeous cutthroats, somewhere 15, 16 inches in size. It's all catch and release though, but that's okay. We saw bald eagles this morning fishing and we heard a loon this morning as well, but it's a gorgeous campsite. It's beautiful. And now we've got a bit of a forest walk to get back to uh, our next, or get to our next campground. So we'll check in with you later. How are you feeling? Good. You Nothing feeling? like doing the same climb twice first thing in the morning. So now we have to find the trail. Which me thinks is over here. Look how pretty that is. Something's life ended here, hey? Is it? A cougar or something. Dragged it all the way up there. Lunch stop. Larry's campground. Okay. Could have been bad. That could have been bad. But it wasn't. You say hi? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Hi. With a big wet nose. Hi. Hi. I I'd say hi. Yes. Yeah, it's a nice boy. Okay. Towards Mystic Pass now. It's a warm one. It's beautiful. Karen, Mystic Pass, down in 
the Mystic Valley. For those that don't know, that are hiking in the Rockies, you can see that on trees. And that. And wonder what it is. It's actually bear shit. And it's how grizzlies mark their territory. They'll actually shit on the tree, kind of wiping their ass with it, using it as toilet paper to mark. Like a uh, bit of an abbey slope, hey? This is our last night at Mystic Valley Campground. And Jesse and I scored a gorgeous campground, campsite, rather. Not too shabby. It's uh, just before six o'clock. We're kind of ready for the evening and going to have some dinner. And last night we were in bed at 8.15. <laughs> so we got like, I don't know, almost 10 hours sleep. So we slept pretty good last night. And then uh, out tomorrow to Norquay and that'll be the end of the Sawback Trail for us. So check in with you later. Last morning. Home time. Yes. Shower time soon. Shower time. A full glass of wine. Sleep in my own bed. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. New sleeping pad. New sleeping pad. Yeah. For you. And a bigger tent for both of us. Bigger tent for both of us. What a great pad. This is a great campground. This is Mystic Valley. Our outhouse is right over there, close to our tents. Yeah, beautiful place. Not a bad place to camp for the night. Okay, I said, check out at eight. Actually? No. <laughs> oh wow. We live in such a beautiful place. We're just going down to have some breakfast and then we're back to Norquay. Good morning. Pretty soon. Yes. Coffee first. Beautiful forest walk this morning. Sun's out. It's going to be another hot day in the Rockies. On our way back to Norquay. To Norquay. This is pretty much what it's like from Norquay to Mystic Valley Ranger's Cabin. Super easy going, huh? Super easy. Yep. Last day home tonight. Sawback Trail was incredible. Definitely uh, worth doing again for sure. Either direction is really good. 
whether you start from Norquay and finish in Lake Louise or Louise to Norquay. The only difference is starting from Norquay, you've got their ski out all the way up to the top of the ski hill there. So that was about know, 8K, something like that. From Louise. From Lake Louise, yeah. The uh, kind of like a fire road or there's winter ski out. It's about 8K all uphill and it's a bit of a grind, but other than that, easy peasy. So yeah, chatting a bit. Came into Norquay Ski Hill. Hi. Hi. Breeze is nice. Oh, the breeze is glorious. Bugs are bad. They're really hungry. We're almost done. Crazy Canuck or Deerfoot Trail? Let's try Deerfoot Trail. Looks promising. Norquay in the summer. Head is the day lodge and we are at parking. parking. So we're at 75.38 kilometers so far. And it's wonderful. Looking forward to getting home. Do a little work, a little resupply, a little clothing change. And then next weekend is Skyline. Uh, video in that one too. Check in with you in a little bit. Okay, lunch. We are done. Thanks for watching our video. That is happening.